I decided to share some of Medellin, Colombia with you when I went on a walk today. If you enjoy my content, then I invite you to subscribe, like, share, and uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. This is my expat stuff, but I do a lot more over here, especially crushing conditioning. So uh, if you enjoy this, also check out my other stuff. And if you like that too, then by all means, stick with me. And I'll try and bring you more of my expat travels. Enjoy. I'm out here in these Medellin streets. Decided maybe I'd share a little bit of my life. I really don't like to uh, <laughs> share too much. Many of you are asking. So here we go. We are walking these Medellin streets, which are quite frankly, like any other streets, y'all. Living in Colombia is a lot like living in the States, um, except so very different. The benefits of living somewhere other than there are enormous. And uh, maybe that's what I can start to talk about. What are the benefits? There are a lot of motorcycles, y'all because it's cheap and uh, easy for people to get around. So as I've said, I love this place. Maybe I'll stop moving so that I can just talk. But I love this place. I'm happy to share a little bit of this. Um, and maybe I'll start bringing my, uh, my work camera with me more often so that I can show more. You see all that love right there with family? That's one of the things that I absolutely love about this place. People are so loving. They love their, their families. We in the States don't know nothing about the kind of love that people show in other places. Capitalism has jaded us in a way that, uh, that often makes it impossible to actually love your folks without there being a money component. Look, all of these are definitely everywhere. We have little shops just sitting. Wherever you walk, you can get fresh juice for the equivalent of what is uh, sometimes less than a US dollar. Um, certainly less than two US dollars. I eat exceptionally well and clean without pesticides and crap. And, um, and life is good. I mean, if I'm going to really just break it down and do a bottom line, life is amazing outside of the United States. So I am doing a little walk. I also have to be careful, y'all. While the crime here is low, I mean, you know, you don't hear about brutal crimes and killings and, you know, that kind of thing. But they will snatch the F out of your phone. <laughs> That's another reason I don't share that much <laughs> while I'm out because I like my phones. Um, and pe people are all, sm I swear, I love this place. People are happy with so much less. So much less. But it doesn't even phase them. They still live a good life because the life they're able to live is equivalent to the peso not the US dollar. Huh. It's a beautiful thing. Okay. So I've shared a little bit on my walk and see there there are um a lot of all of these are apartments, right? Um and it's a lot of them. Uh that are kind of high rise like. The, a lot of them come furnished because there are so many um expats that come through temporarily, that uh, many of the, the apartments uh, come furnished. I have lived in furnished apartments throughout Central America when I started in Panama. Uh, my apartment was amazing. And maybe I'll interrupt here and show you some of it. Um, my view was amazing. And, uh, and now that I am in uh, in Colombia, I have lived in a few Airbnbs, but
But quite frankly, I've settled on a hotel which has an amazing rooftop and the place is amazing and I just love it. So this is some of my, my life walking through these Medellin streets. <laughs> um, decided to, on this walk in this direction, which I don't usually take. I'm usually going in other directions of the parks. Uh, but there is some, uh, a particular food that I want. Look at these expats. They are not Colombian. I'm fasting right now. And I kinda, I'm kind of breaking it right now because I'm starting to feel a little weak. And maybe I'll share some of that even. Share some of my fasting experience, why I'm doing it. All of that, we'll see. Again, so you can see that um, it's kind of some tall living. Y'all know I spent the last, uh, well, 10 of my years in New York, or maybe you don't, uh, depending on how long you've been around me, or in the New York metro area. And this reminds me of Brick City with all these high buildings. And Medellin is loud mostly because of these motorcycles and these are the tiny little cars this is how cars usually are like the the taxi you just saw so that's another piece they're big on their football here too of course their football is actually soccer but they love their sports so I decided to come out walking so I could find some sauteed vegetables and um and some fish pescado uh and uh this little joint i looked up and saw walk i'm like well surely they got some vegetables because they are not big on vegetables in central america y'all they are heavy heavy on the protein and the carbs and this is the little joint and i'm so happy that i found it there's a little pizza place right next to it too maybe when i'm eating pizza again i'll try them but i decided to come walk in a different direction and uh, I'm up, uh, what, what he, I just told him I want and what we just worked out is the equivalent of what will be less than 10 bucks, y'all. I'll show it to you in a minute. Okay, here's something else. My Spanish is getting better, so I can get through anything. And uh, when I get really stuck, Google Translate is amazing, and the people are so amazing that they're so very patient. Every time I go somewhere, I end up leaving laughing my butt off because they are such good people. So accommodating, loving, kind. I just left there and oh, people ride bikes a lot here too, y'all. They even have the bicycle uh, lanes and they are not on the street at all. So that helps, makes things. Uh, oh, these are called tiendas since I'm out here. These are called tiendas, and they're on, shit, practically every corner uh, where people just come and hang out and have drinks. And then there are restaurants. I am right now on uh, Sienta um, 70, which is kind of like uh, Bourbon Street in New Orleans. I'm telling you, the place reminds me so much of home. So, ooh, look at there. Block the man on the bike. See, and didn't back up. Uh, while they are some of the nicest people, learning some of the cultural things and learning that uh, what might come across as rude to me is just the way here. So when you move to a different place, you can't take who you are. I mean, you have to be willing to modify who you are in order to live amongst a different culture. Okay. Something else that is totally legal here is smoking weed. Uh, people just walk the streets and do it. Smoking weed is absolutely legal here, as well as a lot of the other things that the state has uh, has on that. Uh, what do they call it? I'll figure out and put it in writing. But all of those. Um, the, the drugs that they say you absolutely, I mean, that they'll put you under the jail for are totally legal here. My first time ever doing anything, and oh God, I guess I'll have to do a video on why it was so taboo for me. 
But I I love me some shrooms now. I'm telling you, as somebody who uh, does not believe in any of the diagnosis, it's, I don't believe in the psychological diagnoses. I do believe in the neurological door diagnoses. So many of the things that they say, and the women here are just gorgeous. They're beautiful people. Um, but many of the things that they say, uh, I don't remember where I was going with this. Many of the things, y'all see this? I'd be like, what the hell kind of fruit is that? Like, what is that, y'all? This is another reason people here don't go hungry. Because food grows, it kind of looks like sour sour. I wonder if that's what it is. Huh. But anyway, back to the shrooms. I swear by them. Because as somebody who does not accept little stores cost a fraction of what it costs in the States. Shrooms, I'll just tell you one of the benefits that I found. As somebody who has never done any kind of drugs, and I mean never, let me tell you what shrooms have done for me. The chatter in my head, ooh, I don't have it anymore. It's gone. And it's not something you consume every day. It's something that goes to your brain and literally just quiets it down for a long time. I have never known what it was like to have a quieted mind. I do now. And I will be shrooming, baby, and living in places where I can for the rest of my life because I refuse to take any of their drugs. I know the side effects and I understand the industries. I know what their intentions are. Fortunately for me, I had a father who would never allow them to do anything to me. And I have been teaching archetypes my whole life. I've known that all I have to do is understand differences and be able to work with them. I've found natural ways of being able to work with ADD, my ADD characteristics. So even if I hadn't found this, I was still never ever gonna take their crap. But let me tell you, there's a reason they keep this on that list of no-nos, okay? So many reasons to live somewhere other than there. I'm just saying. So I told y'all I found this place, right? And I'm a solo eater, so I got it to go para Uh Another reason I'm not suited for New Orleans, I was born in New Orleans, but there's so much of me that really does not fit the culture. You know, everything is done over food and NOLA. Um, and I went in and told him that he gave me more rice than I was interested in, and he clearly did not have as many vegetables as I'd hoped. But since I saw a wok, I expected more greens. Coming off of my um, my fast, um, I needed more greens, but I'm going to roll with it. This cost me $9.88. It's got salmon, tuna, octopus, calamari, uh, shrimp, throughout it. So I'm happy with it. He was very happy to accommodate me. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to have my meal. And uh, and I will be back later, perhaps. Maybe later to show you this beautiful view. Yes, this is home, y'all. This is home. I came to eat on the rooftop. See that? See, that? those are villages up there. It's a bunch of different little villages, communities, where people live. This is my view. Bye for now. All right, I am off. Talk soon.